To get healthy plants, a cereal farmer must protect his plants from pests and disease. Especially the leaves so that they can photosynthesize at the maximum rate. Not only can these pests and disease destroy the crops, but they can also contaminate the crops and harvested produce, making them unsuitable or even dangerous for human consumption. Whilst poppies may look picturesque among yellow oilseed rape flowers, their seed is very similar to oilseed rape seed, so cannot be separated during harvest, meaning when crushed for their oil, poppy seeds will also be crushed. Contaminating the oil with poppy oil, not what you expect to buy in a bottle of oilseed rape oil. Farmers protect their crops using an integrated approach, which involves a combination of methods crop rotation, cultivations and chemicals. Crop rotation. A farmer will rotate or change the crops he grows in a field each year. He will aim to grow different types of crops each year or every few years. Crops like cereals, potatoes, oilseed rape and peas are not attacked by the same pests and diseases. So by rotating their crops Farmers avoid the build-up of pests and disease in the soil and hedges around the field, which would then attack the crops in the field. A farmer may also try to reduce pests by carrying out cultivations that will reduce the pest. If these methods don't control the pests or disease, then farmers will have to use chemical sprays. The chemical sprays are applied using crop sprays that are controlled by a computer in the tractor cab and linked to GPS and sat-nav. This means that the chemical can be applied with precision just where the disease, pest or weed is. This saves on the amount of chemical needed, but also means that only infected areas are sprayed. The use of chemicals on food crops is also subject to tight regulations. Farmers have to pass a test before they are allowed to do this job. Farm assurance schemes such as the Red Tractor Assurance Scheme also set out Lots of safety and environmental rules farmers must meet before they can sell their cereals for food. 